today we are working with our model Audrey. Let's see what the dice have for us today. Audrey's going to be helping us out with our dice rolling today, and she's elected to use the little T-Rex dice with the T-Rexes on the inside. First up is our lighting roll. And we rolled another two, which means once again we are going to be using strobe lights today. The Godox ADB2 allows you to turn two 8200s into one 400 watt light. Next up is a D4 for our lens roll. Have a little bit of issues picking up that triangle. And it looks like that is a three, which means we're going to be using the 90 millimeter macro lens. So we're either gonna be shooting really tight or getting a lot of background compression. D20 background roll. And that looks like it's a 19, which means we're going to be using the layered canvas backgrounds from Intuition. This is a 10 by 15 canvas sweep, which gives us a background and a floor. And then we have these little strips of canvas that we can hang in the middle that allows us to turn our single background into three or four different backgrounds that are red or green or blue and really turns it into a versatile thing to have in your studio. Last but not least, we've got Wild Magic. Looks like first up we have a 10, which means we are going to be using the posing boxes. And on the second die, it is a five, which means we are going to be using lamps. Rather than using the rope lights from last episode, I'm going to be using these two kind of industrial spotlights uh, that add to this kind of industrial feel that we got going on with the boxes and the lamps and the earth tones and the background. Uh, I think it's really going to work out. I uh, really am going to have to back up a little bit with the 90 millimeter macro if I want to get full body in here. Nice test shot. I am losing her foot there. So I'm going to repose her and try to have her bring her feet inward a little bit just so I can, you know, not chop off any toes or, or anything like that and get her inside the entire frame for this next shot that I'm about to take. So I definitely have her entire body inside the frame now, but what I don't like is how dark it is here by her feet. I'm really losing her feet in the shadows there. So what I think I'm going to do is add another light down behind this box to try to illuminate that area. So I've tucked a little 8200 with a mag sphere on it. Uh, I'm going to keep shooting here, move her arm a little bit, change the pose. Liking this way better now that you have this kind of warm glow from down here, giving her separation from the background on her feet and the box and her legs, uh, and gives it that, that warm glow of a, of a stage and um, some really nice light down there. So I think I'm going to like this setup a lot more. Get in a little closer, try to get some tight shots since I got the 90. Might as well use it to what it's actually used for a little bit. Nice tight beauty portrait there. Maybe even get one horizontal just for a change of pace. And then change her arms up a little bit so she's not quite so crunched up. Um, try to extend her arms a little bit which will allow her to elongate her back a little bit. So that way she's just not crunched up in the frame a little bit. See how that looks. Liking that, change her a little bit more just to make it a little more asymmetrical. Change up where her hands are, where her legs are. I'm gonna change her arm again. Again, just to make it, make it not so, not so even, not so symmetrical. we're good okay so i think we got some really good roles there we had her in this black snakeskin outfit which uh typically i wouldn't shoot black on kind of earthy tones but i think it, it worked it's got some iridescence to it that i think worked uh and then the boxes and the lamps together was a great role it gave me this industrial uh feel that i think worked well i love the layered canvas uh that we have so um, I think it worked out. What do you, what do you think? I love it. I love this outfit. <laughs>
she's in love with the outfit. So uh, let me know what you think. Would you have shot it the same way? Would you have done some things differently? Uh, let me know in the comments after you see the final images.